Whose mythic weapon is this? Spider-Man, Tony Stark, or Groot? It's Spider-Man's web shooters! And that was just one of the 25 questions you've got to answer in this video, so let's move on to the next one. Which one of these characters does this back bling belong to? Bruno Mars, Anderson Pac, or J Balvin? That's Anderson Pac's back bling. And I know this might have confused some of you since he got released with Bruno Mars, but the Sound Scepter microphone back bling is the one that goes with Bruno Mars. True or false? Meowsel's is a fan-made skin. Yep, that's true because this skin was designed by a concept artist known as Rex Sadio. And I would love for them to release a military style that Rex created. Then, if you didn't know, this is the same person who came up with the concept for Rapscallion and Scoundrel. Then, can you guess the skin by its trailer? Because whose trailer was that? Ali, Ariana Grande, or the Cube Queen? That was Ariana Grande's Rift Tour trailer. And is it just me or was that one of Fortnite's best live events that we've had in a very long time? Which one of these YouTubers doesn't have a locker bundle? TG Plays, McCreamy, or Cypher PK? McCreamy doesn't have a bundle. And I'm not sure if they'd give him one since you can't include the purple Skull Trooper in a bundle, but it would be cool if they were to give him one with a purple variant of the Skull Ranger. Whose weapon is this? Midas, Shadow Midas, or the Cloaked Shadow? That's Shadow Midas's drum gun. And if you just said Midas, sorry to tell you, but you got it wrong. Because this is the drum gun they added during Fort Nightmares. And really, the only difference between drum guns was that the Shadow version had worse stats. Which was a good idea, to be honest. And does the back bling on screen belong to Joker, Green Goblin, or Frankenstein? Well, that's Green Goblin's pumpkin bomb, silly. And hopefully nobody got this one wrong, since the back bling looks pretty similar to how Green Goblin does. Plus, I think it would be cool if Fortnite were to add Green Goblin as a boss. And that was nothing compared to one question coming up that I really don't think anyone will get right. But first, true or false, the pizza party item only restores players' shields. Now that's false. This is one of the only few items in Fortnite that restores both health and shields, because you can use it to get up to 100 health and 50 shields then this has to be one of the coolest healing items of Fortnite's dropped. Which character's trailer is this? Brute Gunner, Mecha Morty, or Orin? That's Morty's trailer, and it might have tricked some of you since it does seem like it could be the Brute Gunner's trailer since the mech in the opening scene. And then Orin didn't have a trailer nor really anything released with him. And then speaking of mechs, what season did the mechs get unvolted in? Chapter 2 Season 6, Chapter 2 Season 7, or Chapter 2 Season 8? Fortnite unvolted them in Chapter 2 Season 8. Thank goodness they weren't as overpowered as they were in Season X when they returned, because I probably would have had to quit Fortnite if they were that OP again. Now, which character's gun is this? Spire Assassin, Spire Immortal, or Kit? That's Spire Assassin's primal shotgun. And you can't tell me that wasn't one of the most overpowered shotguns of Fortnite ever released. Because the Primal was already overpowered, and the Mythic only made things worse. But it also made things easier when it was in my hands. Now, which skin does this back bling belong to? The Scientist, the Foundation, or the Visitor? The Foundation is your answer. And it's like all the back blings that are a part of the Seven set look identical. Because I wouldn't blame you if you thought this was the back bling they released with the Scientist. And true or false, there are three different sets of NBA skins. False, there are only two sets, because you have the In the Paint set that came out during Chapter 2 Season 6, around the same time they dropped the LeBron James skin, and they just dropped the NBA 75 warm-up skins not too long ago. Then when are we going to get MLB skins, Epic? Now, which character's trailer is this? The, the one that I just played. The Cube Queen, Harley Quinn, or Dark Bomber? That's the Cube Queen's trailer. And the Golden Cube might have given some of you a hint, not gonna lie, but you're not getting any tips for the upcoming questions since they only get harder from here. Because which one of these Fortnite events didn't actually happen? The Diplo event, the MLK event, or the Elon Musk rocket launch? Or right, please tell me no one thought that Fortnite had an Elon Musk rocket launch event. And the Diplo event wasn't a major live event like the Ariana Grande concert or anything, because this is one of those events that happened in Party Royale, just like the MLK one. Whose mythic weapon is this? 
Thor, Ryu, or Deathstroke Zero. That is Thor's Stormbreaker, and it was one of the weapons in the Avengers LTM back in Season 8. So some of you might not remember this, and I wish Fortnite would have released a Mythic-only LTM kind of similar to how Solid Gold is, but without the Infinity Blade. Then do you know which character this back bling belongs to? Boba Fett, the Mandalorian, or the Stormtrooper? Boba Fett is your answer, since that's his jetpack. And it seems like Star Wars items are always super underrated compared to all the other collapsed Fortnite releases, because you never really see anyone using the Star Wars cosmetics. True or false, the Special Forces is the rarest item shop skin. That is true, because this skin hasn't returned to the item shop since January of 2019, which has been firmly over 1100 days at this point. And I don't know if Fortnite even plans on releasing this skin again, or if they just forgot about it. And can you guess the skin from this trailer? It's gonna be Fish Stick, The Predator, or Master Chief. Master Chief is your answer, because the Predator's trailer took place at Stealthy Stronghold, and I don't even know if the main style of Fish Stick had a trailer, but I know that they've used the Fish Stick in a ton of trailers. Which year was Fortnite announced in? 2011, 2015, or 2017? Fortnite was officially announced in 2011 at the Spike Video Game Awards, and they did a ton of testing back in 2014 through 2016, but the game didn't get officially released until 2017, because Save the World came out in July of 2017, and then the Battle Royale was released in September of the same year. Now, which one of these characters does this weapon belong to? Venom, Carnage, or Daredevil? That is Carnage's symbiote. And it looks similar to Venom's, but this should have been pretty easy since it's red and not black. Which instantly lets you know that it belongs to Carnage. Then Daredevil didn't have any special weapons released with him. And only the smartest of the smartest can answer the questions coming up, because they're about to get extremely hard. So, which player's back bling is this? Ninja, Harry Kane, or Marco Ross? I bet no one got this one right, but it's Harry Kane's back bling. This question is pretty tricky in my opinion, since it looks like it could belong to Ninja, but then Harry Kane and Marco Ross are skins that you don't see too often, which makes it tricky. True or false? There's a Rocket League glider in Fortnite. False, because we have a Rocket League emote, wrap, pickaxe, spray, and back bling, but we don't have a Rocket League glider. And if they were to release one, it'd probably be if Fortnite dropped another Rocket League collab sometime in Chapter 3. Could happen. And can you guess the character from this trailer? It's gonna be Marigold, Aurelia, or Lux. That's Aurelia's trailer, and it's also one of the Fortnite trailers that many people have never seen, since this trailer did not get many views compared to most of the other Fortnite trailers. Honestly, I'd have to say it's just because it's not a collaboration item or anything. Now, do you know where the Fortnite headquarters is located? California, Texas, or North Carolina? Their headquarters is located in Cary, North Carolina. This one is shocking, because it even shocked me when I found this out, since I expected it to be located in a big state like California or Texas. Alright, that's it. Now, make sure you subscribe before you go. Peace.